now make a new mudra that is prepared for yourself. We will chant the time on together. Take a deep breath in. Then exhale out. With the next inhalation, we will chant three times all together. Take a long deep breath in one more time. Uh, uh, Feel the vibration of the old chanting. Join your hands together in front of your heart center and then bow your head down to the cord. And pray to the God for today's practice, for today's energy. As you inhale, open your eyes. And Namaste, everyone. I am Rahul. Uh, from today's onward, I'll be taking, I'll be, I'll be instructing at this class like two to three. I will teach, and in the evening, I'm going to teach. Okay. So from now, sort of Allah will be. Okay. So let's begin. Come up on the tabletop. Stretch your palms on the floor. Just check the foundation of the tabletop. Hands open according to the soul distance. Let's open according to your hip distance. With the next inhalation, lift your head up. Take an arch on your back. Reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Exhale, drop your head down, hump on your back. One more time, inhale, lift your head up. And then exhale, drop your head down, hump on your back. Very nice. Again, inhale, lift your head up. And then exhale, drop your head down. So what we are going to do, one movement should be there with your one breath, all right? So as long as you breathe in, you have to complete your inhalation and reaching high with your head, making a nice arch on your back. Complete your inhalation here. And then exhale. Drop your head down. Just try to make a big hunch on your back. Inhale, again lift your head up. Exhale, drop your head down, hump on your back. Very nice. Inhale, again lift your head up. And then exhale, drop your head down, hump on your back. Good job. Now one more time, inhale, lift your head up. And then exhale, head down, hump on your back. Inhale, again, lift your head up. And then exhale, head down, hump on the back. One more time, inhale, lift your head up. And then exhale, drop your head down, hump on the back. Now for the last time, inhale, lift your head up. And then exhale, bring your spine back to the neutral position. So from here, what you are going to do, just make a big circle with your spine without moving your hands. Just move your spine. Inhale on the upward movement. As you exhale, lower your abdomen down. All right? So one more time, just start to move. Reach up. Just use the navel center, use the ribcages. 
three, just expand them out with inhalation as you exhale, release them down. Just keep moving all the way around on the center of your spine. Three. Just keep moving. Two. And one. Now we'll make it the same circle from the other side, like right? anti-clockwise. All right. Again, press your hands. Inhale, lift your head up. And then move your spine all the way around. Three. Good job. Just keep moving, keep pressing your hands on the floor. Two. Very nice breathing and the next in. The last one, bring your spine back to the neutral position. So we are going to do now a little swarm up before we jump into plank or downward facing dog. Now from here, turn your palms out to the side and start to move side to side. Three. Keep pulling your muscle back and just be engaged with the chest. Two. Just move. And one. Inhale, bring yourself back to the center. Now turn your palms back. Finger is pointed back to your chinis. And then exhale. There. Now as you inhale, lift your head up, make an arch. Again, move your head back without lifting your wrist off the floor. Three. Keep pressing your wrist down. Two. A one. Inhale. And then exhale back to the center. Again, inhale. Just move back. Press your hands on the floor. Lift your head up. Roll your shoulders back. Just do this. Three. Just keep leaning back as far as possible. Two. And one. Exhale. Again, lean forward. Where as you inhale, again move back. Press your wrist on the floor. And then hold for three, two, one. Exhale, again lean forward. As you inhale, again press your hands on the floor. Lean back, move your feet back. Yes, Paula, just move your feet back towards your heel so that you can They're feel painful. a bit more extension. It's already painful. <laughs> Two, it's going to, and then one, inhale, back to the center. So from here, keep your right hand in the center on the floor, then grab your right thumb with the left hand. Just take your left hand in, and then grab your right thumb, very right nice. Just lift your thumb, and then exhale. Again, move back, lift your head up, as you inhale, and then hold, five, Good job. Four. Just move your head back. Three. Two. And one. Now we use your right hand. And then you grab the left hand. Left thumb with the right hand. Yes. Make sure your left hand is in the center. All right. So just out to the side. You won't have that stretch, which we are supposed to have. Now grab your thumb and with the inhalation, move back, look in front, roll the shoulders back and then hold. So five, very nice, four, let's move your head back, three, two, and last one. Exhale, release back. Now rotate your wrist clockwise and clockwise together. Again, come up on the tabletop. Now tuck your toes under and then lift your both knees one inch away of the floor. Lift your both knees one inch away of the floor and then keep your spine straight. And slightly lean forward and then move back. Lean forward and then move back. Very nice, we'll do this for the five times. Five, four, just feel that engagement will come on your hamstring. Four, three, two, and one. Release your knee down and then move back into the child pose.
take a few moments here to observe and set an intention for today's class. Again, come up on the tabletop. Then send your legs back to the plank. Yes. So your hips should be always not above your shoulders. It should be always below your shoulders. All right. And keep pressing your hands so that your scapulas gets out away from each other. And then drop your knees down. Chest down, chin down on the floor. Inhale, swing yourself forward, roll your shoulders back, open up the chest. Exhale, move back into the downward facing dog. Now press your palms, bend your knees, jump front with a half a look up. And then exhale, completely bend down. Inhale, take your hands up over the head. And then interlock your fingers. And keep reaching your hands up towards the ceiling. Just create this space in your vertebras. Pressing your heels down, keep reaching your hands high. Create this space in your joints. And with the next exhalation, completely bend forward. Inhale, again, half a look up. Exhale, press your palms and jump back, Chaturanga Dhanasana. Mm -hmm. Inhale, upward facing dog. Mm -hmm. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Good job. Pull your abdomen in. Keep pressing your hands down on the floor. If it's possible to tuck your head in, look at your navel center. Look at there, otherwise look in front. Again, press your palms, bend your knees, jump front for the half a look up. Very nice, exhale, completely bend down. As you inhale, take your arms up over the head. And then exhale, again, bend forward. As you inhale, half the look up, complete your breath. Exhale, press your hands and jump back, Chaturanga Dhanasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, hold there for five seconds. Abdominal breathing through your nostril. Inhale and then exhale for three, two, and one. Now press your palms, bend your knees, jump forward with a half a look up. Exhale, completely bend down. Inhale, take your arms up. Sweep your hands high. Very nice. Go with your own pace. It is getting too fast. So go with your own pace. Breathe in and out. So we are just doing some salutation of Ashtanga. Exhale. Again, bend forward. Inhale. Halfway look up. And then exhale. Press your palms. Jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, very nice. Exhale, downward facing dog. If you cannot hold into Chaturanga, you can always drop your knees down, all right? Then hold. Three, two, and one. Press your palms, bend your knees, jump front for the half will look up. Exhale, drop your head down. Press your hands on the floor. Just feel that extension on your hamstring. Inhale all the way, come up. Take your hands high. Very nice. Exhale again, bend forward.
Inhale, half a look up. Exhale, press your palms, jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then again, hold there for five counts, five breaths. Three, two, and one. Now press your hands and jump forward at a half a look up. Exhale, completely bend forward. Lower your head down. Inhale, take your hands up over the head, all the way reach up. Exhale, again bend forward, drop your hands either side of your both legs. Again, inhale, half a look up, take a finger to support. Use your low back strength. Exhale, again bend your knees, press your palms, jump back, Chaturanga Dhanasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very nice. And hold the air for three more counts. Two. And one. Press your palms, bend your knees, jump front with a half a look up. Good job. Exhale, complete bend forward. Inhale, take your hands up over the head. Exhale, again bend forward, drop your hands down for the last time of the sun salutation. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale, press your hands, jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then downward facing dog. Normalize your breath. For three, two, and one. Press your palms, bend your knees, again jump forward. And then exhale, completely bend down. Inhale, take your hands up over the head, sweep your hands high. And then exhale, again bend forward from the hip joint. From there, open your leg according to the hip distance. And then grab your elbows together and you start to move your spine up and down. Just look at me here. Just maintain the gap between your both legs. Grab your elbows and then start to move your spine up and down. With the exhalation, give your body nice jerk so that you can feel the extension on your hips at the same time on your lower back. Inhale, half a look up, exhale again, bend forward. Inhale, half a look up, exhale, bend forward. So repetitively we will move for the five times. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Exhale, place your hands on the floor. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale, jump back, Chaturanga Dhanasana. So from the Chaturanga Dhanasana, when you swing forward into upward facing dog, so no need to all the way get down. If you're doing this, so you won't, uh, this won't be anymore Chaturanga Dhanasana, all right? Just hold here and then upward facing dog. No need to get all the way down. Upward facing dog and then downward facing dog. Again, pedal out your legs one by one. Now step your right leg forward between your hands for the warrior A. Take your both hands up high. Three. Keep your front leg bent. Two. 
one exhale hands on the floor step back with a plank and then again chaturanga dandasana inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog Now step your left leg forward. Take your both hands high for the warrior A. And then again, hold there for three, two. Be like a warrior. Back leg is strong. And one. Exhale, hands on the floor. And step back for the plank. And then Chaturanga Dhanasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then move back into downward facing dog. Now press your palms, bend your knees, jump front, and then lightly get into chair pose. Arms up, and then hold there. Again, pull your lower belly in so that you will be more engaged and protect your lower back. And then hold for three. Make sure your knee does not go further than your toes. Just keep it above your ankle or above your knee, above your toes. Two and one. Exhale again. Bend forward. Hands on the floor. Inhale. Half a look up. Jump back. Walk back into plank. Chaturanga Dhanasana. Inhale. Upward facing dog. And then downward facing dog. Again, stay there for a while. For five, four, three, two, and one. Press your palms, then you need to jump front for the chair pose again. Take your hands high. Then join your hands together in front of your heart center. Join your hands together in front of your heart center and then hook your right elbow on your left knee and then twist your spine. Just keep twisting with every exhalation. For three, keep twisting out. Two, one, inhale back to the center. Join your hands together. Exhale on the other side. Hook your left elbow on your right knee. And then twist out. Just create this space in your abdomen from your pelvic girdle to your spine. Just create this space and then twist out. The maximum twisting will start to come from your navel center. Keep pressing your both hands against each other. Inhale back to the center. Take your hands up over the head. Exhale, hands on the floor. Into forward bend. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale, again press your palms, jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then downward facing dog. Now step your right leg forward for the warrior A. Um, high over the head. Keep your back leg straight and strong. Place down on the floor. Abdomen pull in. Bend your front leg at the knee. Very nice. And from there, interlock your finger behind your back. Interlace your finger behind your back. Roll your arms in. Exhale into the humble warrior. Try to lower your head down beside of your right leg. Yes. On the left side of your right leg, just keep lowering your head down, keep your front leg bent, and bring that all awareness on your back leg. Inhale again, come back into the warrior A. Take your hands up. Very nice. Exhale, hands on the floor. And then move back into plank. And then Chaturanga Dhanasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Now again, swing back into downward facing dog. Now step your left leg forward. 
arms high for the warrior A. Interlace your finger behind your back. And then roll your arms in. Pull your chest back, exhale, completely bend forward into humble warrior. Just keep trying with your own pace. Three, two, there it goes. Just keep trying. If you get tired, rest and then again come back. Inhale all the way, come up into warrior A. Very nice. Exhale, hands on the floor, step back to the plank. Chaturanga Vinasan. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, again move back for the downward facing dog. Normalize your breath for five, four, three. Keep pressing your hands so that your tailbone gets more high towards the ceiling. Two and one. Now press your palms, bend your knees, jump front for the chair pose again. Take your hands up and again twist to your spine, join your hands together. Hook your right elbow on your left knee and look up high. Keep pressing your hands against each other. So from there, you can also take your hands to the side. Just open your hands out to the side. Three. Yes, all the way, take your hands out. Two, try to bring your both shoulders in line. And one, inhale, back to the center. Exhale, twist on the other side. Hook your left elbow on your right knee. And then extend your arms out to the side. Again, hold for five, four, three, Two and one. Inhale, reach up for the chair pose. Exhale, hands on the floor. Inhale, half a look up. And then exhale, jump back into Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Now roll back into the downward facing dog. Again, breathe in and out. You can also pedal out your legs one by one. Three, two, and one. Take your right leg up in the air for three leg downward facing dog. Keep pressing your hands on the floor. Exhale, step your right leg forward again for the warrior A. Arms up. Interlock your fingers behind your back. Roll your arms in, exhale, completely bend forward into the humble warrior. And then exhale, extend your both hands forward, right there. Release your hands down and extend your both hands forward. On the floor, on the floor, yes. And keep walking your hands forward so that you can sink your hip down and maximize the angle between your both legs. Keep sinking your hip down and your right shoulder will go below your right knee. Three, two, and one. Walk your both. Walk your both hands to the left side and turn your right, right foot in. Into the wide leg, forward bend. Inhale again, half a look up. Keep your both legs straight. Keep your both legs straight. Exhale, completely bend forward. Don't worry, forearms down if it's possible. Otherwise, you can keep your hands on the floor. Three, two, and one. Now walk your both hands to the left side without moving your left, without moving your feet. Press your right hand beside of your left foot and then twist your spine to the left side. Keep twisting with every exhalation for three, both legs straight, two, yes, me, take your left hand up. Yes, twist out, and one, exhale, both hands on the floor, release back into the previous position, hands on the floor, 
in between your both legs. Now twist on the other side, place your left hand outside of your right leg and then right arm up over the head. Twist for three. Bad badia Jagriti ji. Keep trying. Two and one. Exhale, both hands on the floor. Release back into the previous position. Inhale, half a look up. And then hold for three. Two and one. Again, inhale. Right there, take your hands back, interlock your fingers, and then roll your arms in. And completely bend forward, lower your crown of the head down. Now bring your hands down towards the floor from there. Good job. Keep extending your arms over the head. Hold, three, four, four, two, and one, inhale, all the way come up, all the way come up, yes. Keep your hands on your waist. Now open up your chest, lift your head up, make an arch on your back. Exhale, again bend forward, drop your head down towards the floor with a straight spine, bend forward. Again, hold for three, two, and one. Now from here, walk your both hands to the right side, turn your right palm, right foot out, left foot in. It's more like a warrior A. And then take your hands up over the head. Exhale, hands on the floor, either side of your right leg. Step back for the plank. Again, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then move back into the downward facing dog. Now step your left leg forward. Take your hands up over the head for the wall, yay, yay. Now interlock your fingers behind your back. Roll your arms in for the humble warrior. Bend forward. Yes, keep moving down with every exhalation. Three, two. We'll do the exactly same thing which we did from the other leg, all right? And then one. Now release your hands down. Just remember the sequence, extend your both hands forward and then sink your hip down. Keep your back leg straight, walk your hands forward. Very nice. And you stretch out your legs together. Now walk your both hands to the left side and turn your left foot in, into the wide leg forward bend. All right, keep your both legs parallel to each other. Wide leg forward bend, yes. And then keep your hands in between your both legs. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale, grab your ankle with your both hands. And then bend your, bend your head forward. Keep your spine straight. Just keep bending for three, two, and one, inhale, half full look up. And then again, walk your both hands to the left side. Press your right hand on the floor and then take your left hand up. Twist to your spine. Very nice. Just keep twisting with every exhalation. Do not forget to breathe. Inhale, release your hands down between your both legs. And then exhale on the other side. Walk your both hands to the right side. And then drop your left hand. Either side of your right leg. And then take your right arm up. Twist. The last five more counts. Five. Four. 
थ्री टू वन एक्सेल रिलीज बोथ हैंड्स डाउन ऑन द फ्लोर इनहेल हाफ फिल लुक अप एंड देन एक्सेल कंप्लीटली बेंड फॉरवर्ड very nice you can also walk your both hands behind your leg you can take your both hands behind your leg so that you can feel that more extension you can take your both hands behind your leg or keep pressing your hands on the floor so that you can get the support from the floor with the next inhalation half to look up with a cup of finger with your both hands take the support exhale again flatten your palms on the floor lower your head down 3 2 and 1 from here half to look up inhale and then turn your feet out turn your feet out keep your both legs bent into 90 degree and again look in front this be into this position be there for 3 2 and 1 now keep your hands on your knees all over come up into the goddess pose all right now we start to move side to side let's keep moving side to side now from here drop your right hand right forearm on your right knee, right thigh and then take your left hand up over the heel Three, two, and one. Back to the center. Exhale on the other side. Lower your left hand on your left leg. Left leg bend to the left side for three, two, and one. Back to the center. Again, press your hands against your knee, and start to move side to side. For three, two. and one now release your both hands down on the floor and then press your palms with the next exhalation you have to jump back into chaturanga press your palms and then jump back inhale upward facing dog and then move back into the downward facing dog again press your palms bend your knees jump front for the half full look up Exhale, completely bend forward. Now bend your knees, take your hands up for the chair pose, and then hold for three, two, one. Exhale, completely bend forward. Maintain the gap between your both legs. Now grab your big toes with your index finger and your middle finger. Inhale, half full look up. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower head down into Parallel Gustana Sin. With the next inhalation, half a look up, and then exhale. Take your both hands underneath your, take your both palms underneath your feet. Again, bend your elbows, lower head down. Four, five, very nice. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale, release your hands down on the floor. Now press your palms, bend your knees. Again, jump back into Chaturanga Dhanasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. and then move back into the downward facing dog now take your right leg up high in the air for three leg downward facing dog now start to make a circle make a big zero with the right leg with the straight leg all right make a big zero very nice one just make it more bigger as big as possible Two. Just really move your right leg so that you can increase the mobility of your hip joint. Two. 
and one now you need to right leg on the floor into the downward facing dog now take your left leg high in the air again make a circle with your left leg five four three two and then move on now release your left leg down pedal out your legs one by one bend your one leg at a time release the tension from your leg now press your palms bend your knees jump front for the half to look up let's see in completely bend forward inhale take your hands up all the way come up interlock your fingers and then reach your hands high into talasan or mountain pose reach up press your heels down 3 2 1 stay there into this position and then open your legs more than hip width apart just take your both legs away from each other and then bend forward into 90 degree of the floor Yes, and stay there. Keep extending arms forward. You can release your hands and spread your fingers out. Yes, spread your fingers out forward, and rotate your arms outward so that you can so that your pinky finger reaches more forward. Four. You can bend your knees right there if it's getting too tough. Three. Very nice, Mia. Two. Exhale, hands on the floor. Inhale again. Half a look up. exhale again bend forward one more time inhale half a look up now take your right leg up in the air for the warrior c take your right leg up yes stay there keep your both legs straight you can also take the support of your arms if you cannot hold without any support three make it back toes pointed two One, drop your both hands on the floor. Keep your right leg up back in the air for the standing split. So it's it's a standing split, all right. Just take your right leg more higher than before, and then lower your head down. Just keep reaching high with the right leg. Good job, Paula. Three, two, keep taking it up. And one, now release your right leg on the floor. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale again, completely bend forward. Inhale again, half a look up. Then take your left leg back up in the air. Find the balance into the warrior C. Three. Two. and one release your hands on the floor and then take your left leg up towards the ceiling try to bring your both legs in one straight line keep pressing your hands on the floor so that your upper leg gets more higher you can press your hands on the floor and make sure your hips are square all right keep reaching up Exhale, release your left leg on the floor, beside of your right leg. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale, bend your knees. Take your hands up for the chair pose. Again, join your hands together in front of your heart center, and then hook your right elbow on the left knee, and then twist. Keep twisting. You can also extend your arms out. Keep twisting out. Inhale back to the center. Exhale on the other side. Hook your left elbow on the right knee, and then twist your spine. Three. 
two, and one. Inhale, reach your hands up over the head. Exhale, hands on the floor. Inhale, half a look up. And then exhale, press your palms, jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then roll back for the downward facing dog. Now again, press your palms, bend your knees. But do not jump. You have to jump through your hands and sit up straight into Dandasan. Okay, so in the Dandasan, keep your legs straight. Open your legs according to the hip distance again. Extend your arms over the head. Exhale, bend forward without dropping your hands. Just keep extending your spine. Look in front, in line with your ears. Three. Just create the space, pull your abdomen in, and then bend forward. Two. Very nice. And then one. Inhale all the way, come up. All the way, come up again. And then exhale again. Pull your lower belly in. Create the space in your abdomen, and then bend forward. Again, half a Paschimottanasana. Three. Two. And one. Inhale all the way, come up. One more time. Exhale, bend forward. And hold for five. Four, keep pulling your toes back towards your face. Two, and one, inhale again, come up. Exhale, grab the big toes with your both hands, roll your shoulders back, and then half a look up. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower your head down. Five, four, three, two, and one, inhale again, half to look up, and then interlock your fingers, and then take your, take your interlocked finger behind your sole of your feet. Bend your elbows, lower your head down. Touch your abdomen on your thighs, then your chest, then you drop your head down. Inhale all the way, come up again. Now release your hands down. Now we will do counter pose of this Paschimottanasana. Make a toes pointed forward, press your hands on the floor, and then reach your head up, hips up, and drop your head down. Three. Very nice. Two. One. Exhale, release your hips down. Now hug your thighs, hug your thighs, and then roll over your back. Just all the way lay down on your back and rock and roll on your spine. Just keep rolling forward and back. So with the next inhalation, all the way come up, sit up straight into any comfortable pose. Now make any mudra of your wish and then close your eyes. Just observe your breath, catch your breath. Let it freely move in and out as per its comfort. As you inhale, expand your lungs out. Exhale, release back. One more time, inhale. And then exhale again. One more time, take a deep breath in. And then exhale out.
We will chant one Om followed by three Santi. Inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Join your hands together and then bow down your head to the God. And then open your eyes while blinking and namaste to everyone. So what I feel like this class went so fast. It feels like we took only half an hour. But it's fine. Any question that you want to ask? I have one. How is okay, my yes. from the person door? My I, I cannot that... hear you properly. Can you hear me? Can you hear? Yes, yes. Um the door, the open door. I always have yes. to adjust my leg because I feel it's not is there any tip it's not where I can... even yes. Is there any tip even so I don't need to adjust? Uh, just uh, just show me that so that I can understand because I cannot hear you properly. If I... Yes. When I move here. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. I'll just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me... fine. Uh, can you hear? Hear her, Mia? Yeah. What, a what little I, bit. What is saying? What is he saying? I don't. I could only hear a little bit. Um. Like this? That might you be hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. So when I go from dog facing upward to dog facing door, I always feel mm -hmm. like my legs are not right. I have to adjust them. So maybe there is okay. any tip to go better? Yes, yeah, see, uh, if you want to see the foundation of a downward facing dog, upward facing dog, or plank, all right? So just come up into the tabletop. So the position of the tabletop is going to define your downward facing dog position and your plank position, all right? So let's suppose here you are in the tabletop. You just need to lift your knees and then hold here. Here you are in the tabletop. Just come up in the tabletop and then lift your knees off the floor. It's a, it's a plank. All right. And then downward facing dog. Okay. So your hands and your feet won't move if you are doing half vinyasa. Drop your knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, swing forward and then roll back for the downward facing dog. Okay, so a little bit movement will come in your feet, but it should not move once you practice. All right, so, so after experience, after experience you will have this like, uh, this movement will not come when you're coming from the upward facing dog to downward facing dog. But your feet should not move, means your position of your feet won't be moved. It will be as same as like uh, into the plank, into the downward facing dog and upward facing dog will be same. Okay. I Just take, take off this. Yes. Hmm. Thank you. You got it? I just say I will pay attention on my feet position when I'm changing the asanas. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, guys, enjoy your day. Thank you. Nice Bye. to meet you. See you next time. Um, well, do you still take the um alignment class as well? Yeah, in the evening. Yes. In the evening. Yeah. Cool. Yeah.
Beautiful. We'll see you later. See you.